there and welcome to Speak English with Christina, where you'll have fun becoming fluent in American English. I'm your English coach, Christina, and today, and today, that introduction was a little more difficult to understand than usual. Don't you think? Don't you think? Or in real spoken English, don't you think? <sighs> Americans don't articulate and they sound like they have a hot potato in their mouth and that makes it difficult to understand Americans when they speak. So today's episode you'll learn six secrets to understand spoken English better. Let's go! Americans reduce a lot of sounds when they speak. For example, you read, don't you want to get a coffee later? And then we squish it all together when we speak and it becomes, don't you want to get a coffee later? We reduce don't you to don't you. Want to becomes wanna and get a becomes get a. You have to notice these reductions to start understanding real English. And to help you, I created an American Accent Survival Kit, which gives you audio exercises for 12 everyday expressions. And I'll put the link in the notes below. Uh, because go get it. I mean, seriously, it's free and it will help you understand real spoken English. If you want to understand the way Americans really speak, you have to listen to real spoken English. A lot of books to study English give you audio that is slow or clearly articulated. In the real world, it's not like that. I'm sure you've noticed. So you need also to study English the way it's really spoken. And my video series, Tame the Hot Potato, helps you to do that. And for each video, you can get a worksheet to help you understand our everyday conversations in real spoken English. And the links are below this video. How many of you depend on television series and movies to improve your English comprehension? I know you do. And TV is good and it's fun, but it's not enough. You have to consciously work, study, do listening exercises, and the site ello, e -L 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 -O, dot org is one of my favorites for this. Plus, you can also watch this video for an idea of how to use the site to improve your listening skills. And there's also this lesson and this lesson where you can do some exercises and all the links are in the notes. If you're thinking, Christina, I don't even understand audio flood. Let me explain. A flood is like when it rains a lot, a lot, and there's water everywhere, in the streets, in the houses, that's a flood. And you have to flood your brain with audio in English. And this is where movies and TV series are useful. You can listen to American radio stations with the smartphone app TuneIn Radio or listen to podcasts in English. My favorite for learning English is All Ears English because 
It's English lessons, but in real spoken English. And my favorite podcast for listening, just for listening, is the Tim Ferriss Show, which is about optimizing your performance in general, including your performance in learning languages. You see, there's a difference between active and passive listening, and you need both. Most students have too much passive listening. <coughs> TV, <coughs> movies, mm. and that's why their comprehension improves slowly. In this video, you've learned a few activities, and here's one more active listening activity that will boost your pronunciation and your comprehension. It's shadow reading. And here's how you do shadow reading. You get the transcript of the audio you listen to, for example, on hello.org. You have the transcript of the audio on the site. And as you listen, you read with the speaker. Not listen and repeat. No, you match the speaker's speed, intonation, everything at the same time. And this makes you more conscious of how the words sound when they're spoken at normal American speed. You're gonna misunderstand things. Even we native speakers misunderstand things, like that famous Jimi Hendrix song, excuse me while I kiss this guy, or this guy. Mm, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, yeah. Or me, in French, for example, when one time uh, Roman and I were listening to Lady Gaga, and Roman tells me in French, Ah, Jean Paul a décidé de ça dans sa voiture. Jean Paul has CDs of this in his car. Only the French expression, some CDs, décidé, sounds a lot like décidé, died. So for like three seconds, when I misunderstood, I was totally shocked because I understood that our friend Jean-Paul had died in his car from listening to too much Lady Gaga. <laughs> Sometimes it's better just to laugh at yourself if you can. And for those times when you really need to understand, like work or very serious situations, Watch these two lessons, how to stop feeling embarrassed when you don't understand, and reformulating to be sure you understand. They were, they were my first two videos ever, so feel free to laugh at the quality. It's pretty bad, the quality of the video, but the lessons and the content are good, and it shows that you know, you have to start somewhere, you make mistakes, and you improve as you progress. So check them out and uh, have a good laugh. Now, what about you? How do you improve your listening comprehension skills? Share your tips with the other Speak English ambassadors because you surely have some great ideas. And be sure to get my American Accent Survival Kit to help you actively improve your listening comprehension. I'll put the link to it in the notes below and also to all the other resources from today. All right, Ambassadors, thank you so much for watching. I'm Christina, and I'll see you next time.